Okay. You know, strike right is smashed to a lot of people, um, but we do have some rules to it. So we give a Lucy call here. All right. So their turn back protection. Tight ends got the first thing off. And then now the back's coming to pick up off the edge. I mean, we're on a full sprint outside. Okay. So to the strike, away from the strike side, one thing about our quarterback is he's going to check the hole first. So if he has the drop pop to the boundary, he's going to take it. So he'll catch it, take it. So if you watch our guys on sprint out, they're going to catch and look real quick. What it really does is it does a really good job of kind of squeezing these guys down to get us to that edge a little bit better um, and get them out flanked. But if he, he's got it, he's going to take it. He doesn't have it, and he's on full sprint, okay? Now, our rules for our Z is this, versus off. The guy's under the hard deck, which would be five yards, all right, to whether he's off. And so if he's off, okay, if he's playing off more than six, then we're going to run a hide route, okay, which means we're going to get about a yard and a half from the boundary, and we're running a hide route at like five and a half yards. Now, the other thing is this, if it's man or he's under the hard deck, okay, then we're going to run a whip route, okay, so that means we're going to slant and then come back in. So that way we can give our corner route an opportunity to win it off to safety and not let the corner be able to play both, okay? So that's how we do that. So we'll put him on a hide route right here. And the quarterback's going to read it. He's going to see it first to whether what we don't want him to do is we don't want him to hang. That corner ball is one step after 10 yards. So we tell our guys one step after 10 yards, if you see – that being capped, so you see a corner belling, then I'm going to cut him, all right? I'm going to cut him underneath. But anything, when I come out of this break, I'm starting it high. I'm starting it high because whatever I lose high by rolling out of my break, I'll never get back. But I can get it back here if I want to roll down, okay? So we'll keep it high, and then we'll read it based off of top down. So once he gets out of here, he's looking top, then back now to the to the high, okay? What we don't want to do is come out of there, he's sprinting out, and he's looking out here. Then all of a sudden, he hangs on that corner ball too long, and now the corners come back down, and now he's playing the hide route. So we want to do a really good job on that. Now, the other thing is when we call circle, okay? We really like this concept, too. You can run it to the field. You can run it to the boundary. Nothing changes for anybody up front. Nothing changes for the drop on the back side. Now, it's a read route on the front side. So we run what we call a button hook curl with number one, okay? So our Z, he's going to run a button hook, and what he's going to do is he's going to work here and then kind of climb it to the hash and then hook it up because we want spacing. Like we don't want him to run here and be sitting on the numbers, so we're going to try to curl this thing inside the hash and then now, number two is running a wheel route, but he's reading it out. So as soon as he comes out of the wheel, he's looking, is it capped or uncapped? If there's somebody over the top, then when he gets to 12, he's going to squirrel it back to the boundary. If he comes out of this and he sees nothing but grass, then he's going to stay on the move. That's how we read that out on circles. So that would be circle right for us, okay? Circle right. So they'll read it out. We could do it by three by also. We've done it that way. The only thing when you do it by three by, this guy's got to stay on the lock wheel. And then now number three now gets to read it out. If it's man coverage, we'll teach our guys like, look, it's going to be uncapped because this corner's got him, man. He's got you, man. So use this guy to your advantage. Work him and then will it, okay? Don't just run off in the wheel to where the guy can still stay in uh, leverage and be in the phase that he wants to. So that's our sprint out. Now, we can do all of our sprint outs off a of run action. So we can ball fake the back here, have the fullback pick up over here, and still run circle to the right. So all those things are built in just like down the field throws. We can do all of our down the field throws with play action, and we can do all of our sprint out throws with play action. But my advice would be to get your quarterback out on the perimeter. And I think that really helps, especially with quarterbacks that are developing, quarterbacks that need to get back on schedule. And that's what we like to do with our guys. So as we continue with sprint outs, I mean, you know, I think the biggest thing is, number one is from a protection standpoint, I mean, we're, 
what we call Ricky Lucy, we're turn back protection. So the first guy off the edge, no matter who it is, I mean, and we can always do it with just the back, but we like to do it with two off the edge, whether it's a tight end and the back or two tight ends, whatever it may be. Um, so when you look at the concept of what we're doing here, I mean, we're running circle here, all right? So we drew that up on the board. So we're running a wheel route with number two. We're running the button hook with number one. So number two is going to read it out. Once he runs the wheel, if there's nobody over the top of him to make him pull up, then he's running the go route. He's going to stay on the go. If he looks as he's coming and now it's capped, then he's going to run a comeback. So... The tight end's going to help dig out, all right? Or actually see out, and then the back's fitting up off the edge. Just the back's got to do a good job, all right? It's a heck of a ball by the quarterback. We come out on the wheel route. Nobody takes him. So we get over the top of him, and we get a big play. Okay. So we're going to run circle to the right right here. So we're going to wheel it. Guy's over the top of him, so he's going to run the comeback. Okay? Just need to be a little quicker getting the ball off. We want to read that inside out, not outside in. So boom, we come out of there. Circle expands back out. Take that. Sit from the side wide. Going to run the wheel. They exchange it, switch it off. All right, so we should be turn back protection. Tight end can't get beat. Good. Back's got to come on now. Like the back's got to come on and force the issue. That guy's scraping over the top. He's a guy's trying to pull up the quarterback. Just shows you what we're doing. The guy caps it. We run the comeback. Ball ought to be gone now. And Outside receiver can work back, but he really wants to be a little bit more vertical instead of stemming it inside, then kind of button hook it right there inside the hash. Same deal. All right. Turn back protection. So you watch up top, sprint it. Guy caps it, so we're just running the comeback. We've got the button hook inside. Should be drop pop away. So he should look here first. And then now we're on the circle. You know, we can also run this to the boundary. And then we'll do it based off down and distance. So we're going to run strike here. So now we're moving on to strike off our sprint out package. We'll run a hide route up top. Corner route by number two. Still got the same protection rules with Ricky and Lucy. Same deal. Got the hide route out top. Make that flat defender have to come defend it. He doesn't. Put it out there. Let's go. Get it protected. Showing from the end zone. All right. Strike over here. We're going to motion it. So now number two is on the corner. We actually return it on this one. So we're running a return route instead of the hide route. Corner bails. Just take it. Take what they give you. 